My decline was a funny one, for I'm not a madman. No, I tell you, I'm here in this asylum for caring about my children. In fact, I have no reason to be here at all. I didn't even expect to survive the stab wounds. I suppose it began with the stab wound that night. And well, the memories of that man's horrific face filled with anger as he stabbed me used to plague my nights. Memories become faded as I grow older. However, since that night, I knew I wasn't the man who entered the theater. It's it's all my fault. I could have stopped him. If it weren't for these stabs, I I could have done something. Claire, I could have I could have changed it. I he died because of me, because I wasn't there, because I couldn't do it. It's all my fault. You're rambling, dear. You need some rest. Go to sleep. Okay. Okay. This will help. I see you have made your decision. Yes, Clara. I suppose I have. We are doing the right thing, you know? How can you continue in your position after what happened? You know, I made it as a colonel for quite a while, Clara. But at the cost of your livelihood, dear, you and I both know you needed a more restful routine. My resignation will make me a joyful man again, Clara. You know that. I'm sure a relaxed life of light, work, and love from your family would do no harm. Forgive me, but I think that the love from my family is spreading a little too thin lately. I'm sorry? Nothing, Clara. Oh, my love. I think Henry has woken up. He may need to be fed. I believe here was where my happiness peaked. From short-lived employments to the birth of Clara Pauline, things had gone downhill. I know how you spend your nights, Clara. Tart it up, selling yourself to any man with money in his pocket. Henry, I never... Do you even suppose that the labor of delivering our daughter, you could imagine me doing this to you? I have been absolutely devoted to you. I have no doubt that you've devoted yourself to any man with a change in his hand. Oh, don't even start that with me. Between your struggle to keep a job and our children, I would find myself hardly looking in the lining of her pockets. Yes, perhaps that's true. But we were far more wealthy before you forced me to resign. If you believe even for a second that I could make ends meet without you, you are sorely mistaken. I will take every penny you own and live with my children. At this point, my dear, I would welcome it. I believe we lost what Clara and I once had that day. She continued to tell my children of how awful I am, and I'm sure she had become a whore to feed her spending habit.
hope my children carry no ill feelings about their parents, because I know I scared them, but it had to be done. 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 It had to be done.